The American Baptist Historical Society is a collection of uh, Baptist history. Our collection is incredibly broad. We have a historical library that has somewhere between 40 and 45,000 volumes. The oldest of those books dates to about 1530, 1532, and the newest has a copyright date of 2019. Because our collections are so extensive, we don't have detailed catalogs of everything that we have. We discovered on the shelves a Bible dated 1563. It's a copy of the first translation of the scriptures into the Polish language. And as far as we can tell, there are fewer than 10 of these Bibles left in the world, and we have one of them. For many people, we function primarily as a research library. And researchers come literally from all over the world. Some are academics, some are people coming to look at the history of a specific organization. In some cases, records no longer exist in their country. Well, like most libraries and archives, the biggest hindrance to people is location. And in today's computer age, if you have key pieces available online, that is huge for researchers and the public paper that is 200 and 250 and 300 years old is extremely fragile and the digitization process will help us preserve that. And the ability to digitize that, store it in a very small place, allows you to take a lot of information, make it available to massive amounts of people. Increased access is the primary motivation behind our digital project. We've had six or seven instances of a collection being uploaded to our online catalog. And in less than two weeks, a researcher has contacted us wanting to make a research appointment to look at that specific material. It's hard to be an effective resource nowadays if you have to come to a physical building to access a piece of information. We need equipment, we need process, we need a way to preserve those and the whole support system. We're a good resource for helping people understand how to preserve what they have and then make good decisions about how do you preserve it. Is it something that stays in the community? For example, if a church disbands, do their records, 100 years worth of records, stay in the community? Or do they come here to the American Baptist Historical Society? I think it's just beneficial. We have several people in our church who are very interested. I try to tell them, have that history someplace, either in your region or state archives, or have it in some other church where if a tornado comes through, it doesn't take everything. I think in the beginning, it was questionable how we could get others to see the importance of this. And the reason we did it was because we were using it. But I think it's extremely important for us to teach the next generations that this is important. We stand on the shoulders of people who came before. We need to make sure that there are some shoulders for the next generation or generations to stand on. What if you didn't know your history? What if you didn't know what the beginnings of your faith were all about? What would we do if we didn't have first history in general, but more specifically, the background and history of our faith tradition? And so that in itself seems to me terribly important.